Welcome back to Rocket Garage and Service YouTube. Today, we're working on a 2000 Honda Civic. We have a check engine light. Okay, now we're in the car. Key is on. And our check engine light is right there. So let's get our scanner. So here's our code. We actually have a code for a heater circuit on our O2, um, which is number one O2, which is pre-catalytic converter. Okay, we got the hood popped on our car. Here is the O2 sensor right there. Um, this does have an aftermarket header on it. If you, if your car has the original manifold, there will be a, a heat shield here. You're going to have to remove the heat shield and the O2 sensor will be like in this area. Um, this one is before your catalytic converter. So mine is right there. So let me show you what we have bought. This is the oxygen sensor that we will be installing today. It is made by Denso. This is a Honda brand. Almost how GM has AC Delco. It's kind of like their name brand for their cars. The oxygen sensor tips a little bit different than uh, the other brands. I always know it's a Denso brand by this tip. So I do have a little history with the fault on this car. At first, the initial check engine light came on for the oxygen sensor failed. Then I had a known good oxygen sensor that I installed and that check engine light went away and then it went to a heater circuit. For my research, Honda only likes to play with this brand for that heater circuit. So that's why we're trying it and we will know immediately if this works. So the check engine light will not go away after swapping two or three different other brand oxygen sensors. First thing we're going to do is disconnect our electrical connector, which is right here. So now that we have the electrical connector disconnected, we need to take our oxygen sensor out. I will be just using a simple adjustable and I will be getting it from under the car. Remember that, that this is an aftermarket header and normally your sensor is right here. So they do make special sockets to take these out. So if you can't get it with something simple like this or a 19 millimeter socket, which is normally the size of, of them, then you might need the special oxygen sensor socket that they make. Oh, you goober, it's going the wrong way. So worry about the camera. Knew something right. So this is the one that I installed. Um, like I said, I think it's like NGK or some brand like that, or Bosch. Anyways, it, this tip is non-Denso, so I know most likely it's gonna be a problem, but I've took this one out the plastic. I installed some of the anti-seize that came with it, just a little bit on the uh, threads. So let's get ready to install this. So I did jack the car up. If you haven't seen one of my other videos, I used the jack stand with the jack uh, tip and trick which is great for convenience and safety of me not having a jack over there and everything else. So, but I just want to show you how I did jack up the car. I have the O2 sensor, let me crawl underneath.
There it goes. Finally. So we're back on this side of the engine. The part is installed. You can get your harness. We're gonna plug it back up. And then we'll hook it back onto this bracket, which I do off camera or in the other GoPro film. And let's go reset our coats. This scanner is not playing with this car nice at all. It took forever to do this. But now I'm going to report, which is pretty much what we already seen earlier. Um, we have it for our oxygen sensor heater failure, but I just want to show you there is no other faults in this car. So I'm going to hit escape and we're going to hit quick erase. So here we are erasing our codes. So I just removed the scanner. I want to show everyone the check engine light is off. I haven't cycled the key yet. But I just want to give you all an update if that does come back. The check engine light is off currently. So we got the car running. As you can see, we do not have a check engine light. So I'm going to take the car around the block. Although this thing still needs to run through its emissions uh, cycle, which is going to take a couple hundred miles. Let's just make sure nothing's going to surprise us. So we just got back from our test rod, turn the key on, no check engine light and just for cause we can, we're going to run a system scan on it just to make sure nothing's maybe hiding. I don't know. All right. So we have it scanning. This takes a hot minute on this scanner. I, I kind of do not care for using this scanner on this car uh, just for something as simple as one code but we can already see that code did not come back for ecm but we'll let it finish okay our scan is complete we came up with zero everything passed or gave no response so we're going to end this off here i hope this helped somebody if it did please leave a like comment if you're not subscribed please do that I'm trying to get a lot more detailed. I have a camera strapped to my chest. We're going to see how that goes. And just trying to show you all a lot of the um, how-to portions of it. Because I learned a lot of it is I don't show how I'm taking stuff off. So that's where the camera strapped to the chest comes uh, into play. Anyways, just uh, want to reiterate that I knew that the oxygen sensor was the issue i had already replaced it once but my the point of this video is i want to show you, you've got to use the denso o2 sensor on these honda civics do not try any any other brand it is a waste of time and in my case i went from an o2 sensor fault and it went to a heater circuit fault and with a little research of the googles and looking at forums this was pretty uh, well known so just want to share this with the world and on to the next one